Hey guys, welcome back to another Weekend of Meals video. If you're new here in these videos, we share some of the meals we had over the weekend, as well as some clips of family fun. If you guys enjoyed these videos on my channel, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Our first dinner of the weekend was a quick and easy meatloaf. We have one pound of ground beef and to that we added some of Adam's seasoning mix, a few tablespoons of brown sugar, some minced garlic, and some Worcestershire. We don't ever measure any of this just because we've been making it so long we just kind of throw it in so you can just do it to taste. We also added in one egg, some salt and pepper, some onion powder, and some parsley. Next came some yellow mustard and some crushed Ritz crackers. We formed this into a loaf and put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour until the meatloaf was cooked through. We just served it with some simple mashed potatoes and gravy and some green beans. What is this picture of? This one. Mommy, Who's then, that? Angus. And mommy and Fluffy. Well, what's this? Why do they have fire? Because they rocket it. Dogs. Rocket, rocket dogs? dogs. I used to have some of those shoes. I loved them. That's them. Rocket dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I love your pictures. Who's this? Uh, what me. That's cool. Where's the bug, Wally? Do you see a bug? <laughs> Do you see a bug? I don't see anything. Where's the bug? Where's the bug? Cosby, sweet boy. The next day for lunch, I warmed up some leftover tortilla soup. I'll leave a link to that video down below. And some taquitos we had left in the freezer. Come here, Rocco. Come here. Come on. 
Rocco. Come here. What are you doing? <laughs> Hi. I didn't see you. What are you doing? <laughs> it's so little. It's a baby pecan. You got what? We got pecans. <laughs> you got rocks. Tell Daddy I'm to close it. Rocks. You can sell that for a lot of money, Tart. Tell Daddy to close it. Did you? Okay. Bye, Blue. And on this night for dinner, Adam made a bacon deep dish pizza. We made our usual pizza dough and marinara recipes. Those are always down in the description box when we use them. And we just laid the dough into a large springform pan. We added half of our marinara sauce, and on top of that, we added some pizza blend cheese. Then he rolled down the edges of the crust and baked this at 425 degrees for about 15 minutes. Then we added on our crispy cooked bacon. Next came the rest of our marinara sauce and some mozzarella cheese, and we baked this for another five minutes. We served our pizza alongside a salad with some banana peppers, croutons, cheddar cheese, and some more bacon. And for the dressings, we have some blush wine dressing, some Olive Garden Italian dressing, and some homemade ranch. Vegetable? Broccoli is a kind of vegetable, so what are you making? Whoa. Vegetable soup. Vegetable soup. And a fire hat. It's a cool fire hat. <laughs> oh, cool. Does it keep the soup nice and hot? Oh, you're gonna share? That's so nice. That looks like some good soup. For family movie night, we always get a bunch of snacks. We got some Jiffy Pop, four kinds of candy, some hot fries, and we found this llama party blue cotton candy popcorn that the boys just had to try. The next day I had a couple of cantaloupes that I wanted to cut up so they'd actually get eaten and I'm going to put some in the freezer for later. I ended up with a whole big container to put in the fridge to snack on and a bag to freeze for smoothies and desserts. I 
also got started on a simple dessert. In a recent video, I made a crock pot apple crumble, and we thought we'd try it out with some strawberries and devil's food cake. I just chopped up a pint of strawberries and put them in my crock pot. Then I added half a cup of sugar, half a cup of water, and one teaspoon of vanilla. I just got that mixed up really well and set it to high for one hour. After the hour was up, I mixed my cake mix with one stick of melted butter and added that on top of my strawberries. Dinner on this night was some loaded nachos. If you've been watching for a while, you probably know the drill for our nachos. We like to mix some taco meat with some sour cream, some Velveeta cheese, and sometimes some refried beans. For toppings, we have some jalapenos, a red onion, some Texas beet hot sauce, some lettuce, tomatoes, and some Colby Jack cheese. And instead of regular tortilla chips, we're using some ranch, nacho cheese, and Mexican street corn tortilla chips. Good? Yeah. We love nachos, huh? Ooh, you get apple grape juice with grenadine. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, we would love for you to join our YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications. And we'll see you guys in the next one.